Hold on, is it my career high? Thirty twice last year. Fuck. All right, here we go. And I guess for for both guys, what what it feel like to just go out there and you know win Eric Musselman's first game by by you know forty eight points or whatever it was. Oh, it just felt good, you know, to get the first game out of the way. Uh, we got the crowd into the game. We played our game, uh, pace and space. We were able to knock down the shots and play great defense. I mean, the overall feeling was amazing. I'm a, I agree with Zay on that one. Oh, uh, but like Zay said. <laughs> We came in ready to play. We really took this week hard. The coaches stayed on us. They didn't, they didn't let us relax. And they told us to take Rice like we was playing SEC team. So we was prepared. And we knew we wanted to show the hard work we put in this summer and in training camp. So we was really eager to get out here today. And I'm glad we came out with a W. Yep. You guys forced three shot clock violations, 27 turnovers, only gave up two threes. Just what worked defensively? Uh, just, just our intensity. I mean, everything starts on defense. You can't get your offense going unless you play defense. Um, and the name of the game is stopping the other team. So we we knew that coming into this game, if we could stop the key scores, um, keep them off the glass, and things of that sort, we were gonna we we're gonna win this game. Uh, just going off this weekend practice, coach put us in a real situation of their play. So the plays they was running today, we already knew. So we wanted just to be prepared for the game and just take it serious. And we wanted to take serious uh, defense serious this year since we undersized. So we all doing the little things this year. We all talking. We all doing stagger jumps. It's just a lot that y'all didn't see last year that y'all seeing this year. Yeah. And we was glad we was able to perform it today. You guys got it at all three levels, but both of you got loose for dunks in this game. Has, is that, has that happened in practice even with the two of you both getting dunks and running? Is this something that the Hog fans can look forward to? Oh, it's, going defi forward? it's definitely something to look forward to. You know, we have a great strength and um, conditioning trainer, Coach Rich. He's, uh, he's worked on our bodies tremendously, and I feel like it's helping us for the better. And y'all can um, see it on the court, both of us getting dunks, nothing y'all saw last year. So uh, it's definitely something to get used to. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of surprised I dunked it, to be honest, because. Um, We've been working on it. That was one of my main things this year, just be able to finish above the rim. And right there, I wanted to show that I've been working on it. So it was kind of easy. And I, I, we, you should expect more from me and Isaiah. Hey, for, for both you guys, I, I'm not sure when you all found out, but we got the word about 5 o'clock that Connor's uh, waiver had been denied and, and that Reggie was suspended. Well, when did you guys find out? And that's kind of a downer. But then you guys went out and played great. I mean, kind of how did you guys react to that? And how did you feel the team? You know, de de dealt with that because that's obviously disappointing news for you guys. Uh, we um, we just you know we were prepared for the worst. Um, so when we when we heard the news about Connor not being able to play, uh, we we knew coming into this game we we may have to play the season without Connor. So uh, unfortunately he won't be able to play. Um, I don't wish that upon anybody, but you know he's gonna put real hard work in the off season and he's gonna prove to everybody that he needs to be on the court next year. And the news about Reggie, uh, he's obviously. Uh, just Reggie, um, just knowing that we next man up. Y'all saw today that Ethan Henderson was ready to play. He had a good dunk. He had a couple rebounds. He ran the floor like Coach wanted him. So when we found out Reggie wasn't playing, we were just saying next man up. And Ethan was ready today. And knowing, knowing that if we get more production from Ethan, that's more minutes for Ethan and that's more rebounding for us. That's going to help us on the court. So knowing when we get Reggie back, and Ethan is already ready to play. That's more production for us. So knowing yep. we can add Ethan in there and give him more minutes is going to be real good for our team. Yep. All right now, Bob. Hey, I, I think without Reggie, you guys were down to eight uh, eligible scholarship players. It looked like Eric did a pretty good job of keeping guys fresh. How did you think y'all did with an eight-man rotation? Did, did did you guys get tired? How did you think it worked? Uh, that's that's no excuse in college basketball. We got training. We got people that's going to take care of our bodies. Coach Musselman didn't play six players before, so he already told us that we might have eight players. So some people might be playing more minutes they wanted to. And just looking at the past doing college basketball, Duke played with six players, Florida. So we just got we just got a next man up, and we just got to play harder and make sure we take care of our bodies on and off the court. Mm -hmm. I guess you, you guys know, you know Jalen obviously struggled with threes last year. He only took two tonight, but he made them both after being like 11. I think he was 8 of 69 or something. So he had 25% of his season worth of threes tonight. What did you guys think of his three-point shooting? Do you think he can keep shooting well? Two words. You ready? Two words? Breakfast, breakfast club. Breakfast club. That's all you got to say on Jalen Harris. <laughs> He's been in there every morning, 6 a.m., getting shots up. 
And it showed today. He looked way confident. You see him looking for a shot more that Coach Musselman put on him. So adding more scoring from Jalen is going to help us in the SEC. And he knows that, and our team knows it. So it was so good to see him having fun. It was good to see everybody having fun. Yep. We know Rice, We was, to be honest, we were supposed to beat him. But we never look over somebody. And we just got to get better from here. Yep. Mason, over here, you ever had five steals in a game before? And how much of, the, of that do you think is a, just a factor of I guess the, the preparation just must kind of land out the place for you guys. Yeah, Coach, this, this one of these summers, was, this summer, to be honest, was up and downs for me because I was still trying to get used to the system. But one thing Coach Musman always did, and I will always appreciate him, is defense. He told me last year I didn't really play defense like that. And I wanted to come in this year and prove that I can rebound, that I can play defense, that I can get steals, and I can do other things than offense. So. Knowing that this is the first game and this was good showing, but I'm not satisfied and Isaiah's not satisfied and the team's not satisfied. We have bigger yeah, things right. this year that we want to do. And for me and Zay, we got things we want to do. So just looking at this game, we can really learn from it. Yep. Yeah, this is for both. Okay, Two-parter. Two Isaiah, the seven assists, that's a career high. What what'd you think of that? And do you think you'll be more of a playmaker this year? And then after you answer that, if you could both talk about going – a 10 to 25 on threes. You guys are going to have to shoot a lot of threes. How does it feel to shoot 40 um, percent? In the offseason, definitely been working on other aspects of my game, and playmaking has been one of them. Being able to facilitate and um, create for my teammates because we have a, we have a lot of firepower. You just have to figure out how to utilize it, how to get people open, and things of that sort. And the system that we run that Coach Musselman has made for us it, is great. It works great in the situations that we have. We could do better. Almost we had a couple of looks that we should have made. Isaiah had a couple of looks. I had a couple of looks. We just we've been pushing ourselves to be pros, and we've been pushing ourselves. Pros don't miss open shots, and we felt like we missed some open shots tonight that Coach Musman told us. But we know we're gonna get back in the gym. We know that we want to be we want to be perfect, but we know we're not gonna be perfect. But we want to be close. So knowing yeah. that we missed a couple of shots, we could just look at film and just see what we did wrong. But us shooting 10 for 25 was all right, just to be honest with you. I mean, he almost hit his spot on. I mean, we're going to get a lot of shots up. Our, um, our offense that we run is designed to get a lot of shots up. And, you know, some nights we might, we might not be on. Some nights we might be semi-on. Like today, we, um, we did miss some open shots. Uh, but we made, we made some big ones. Uh, I feel like just the, the flow of the offense is going to give us a lot of open shots. Yeah, Mason, I guess you just kind of found out, but scoring 32 points, a career high. What was working for you offensively? Uh, just letting the game come to me and just knowing that the team had trust in me and knowing that Coach Musselman just wanted me to have fun and just play. Because I didn't want this year, I just, just want to have fun. Last year, I pressed myself. I was inconsistent. I just wanted to, it was just, I was overthinking a lot. So this year, I just want to have fun, let the game come to me, and let the Cheerios fall where the Cheerios fall. <laughs> Anything else? 